What's going on people in YouTube land? Kim G. Chris here and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's brand new video where we are going to take a look at a record that's been very sought after, very rare, very hard to find for a very long time at this point. That's right, we are going to look at Sonic Boom by KISS. And not only are we going to take a look at this iconic piece of vinyl that I finally have in my collection, but we are going to open the thing up. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Kim Chi, I've looked on eBay recently and that thing is expensive. Why are you going to open up a sealed copy? You're crazy. Maybe you haven't looked at eBay as recently as you should because uh, let's be fair, for some reason, a bunch have been popping up for a very cheap price. So I jumped on that deal and got my copy right here. And this was one of the cheapest ones on there, $32. Now I'm sure you're saying to yourself, Kimchi, I don't understand. How did it go from hundreds of dollars down to $32 overnight? Was there a surplus of them that was just released upon the world? Did Kiss lie to us that there were only a thousand copies initially released through Kiss Online back when the record came out? How did this happen? What happened? Did the warehouse just make a bunch of copies and decide to sell them? What happened in this situation? Situation. And I'm here to tell you people, I don't know exactly. These are records that are plainly a little bit on the shady side, on the aftermarket side, a third party solution. The Dollar General of Sonic Boom Records, that's right. These are what some might call bootlegs. Gotta love that word, but uh, they're out there for sale. And I just hope most people buying them know what they're getting into because you can't get an original copy of this record for $32. But because of the beauty of eBay, you can put anything you want up there. You can take a CDR just like this right here and put it up with a label like this and whatever music you want on it. And if somebody's willing to buy it, well, the verse sell doctrine says that they can do that. Now, obviously there are some legalities involved and most people wouldn't be brazen enough to put a CDR up like that, but this, this looks like a real deal. This looks like something you would go into a store and buy. Now, I don't have the original because I was stupid and didn't buy it on Kiss Online back in the day. That's still one of my regrets as a Kiss collector, but this looks very nice. It looks like a really good replica of what I assume was, you know, the original. I assume this was taken right from it. There's no barcode on the back, but I assume the original probably didn't since it was, you know, sold online exclusively. But maybe someone watching this that has that record can tell me. Did it have a barcode? I don't know. but. It has the KISS Records stamp on the back there. I don't know if you're going to see that too well in the video, but it's, it's got that. It also has the Hype Sticker. Limited green vinyl, as you can see there. How great is that? So it has a Hype Sticker. The quality of the printing when I'm looking like really closely is, is, is good. It's good. Everything about this looks right. Uh, the track listing is correct. I know a lot of people said that the original real legit version of this doesn't sound very good on vinyl and I'm not gonna play this one here on the video but I've also heard that this bootleg version sounds a little better weirdly enough I don't know how they pulled that off but uh, the point is if you really want to own this thing on vinyl now and you go to eBay you can now I would jump on it it seems like a lot of these resellers are starting to learn that people really want this thing because I got it for $32 at the time of this recording of this video. Actually, I got it about two weeks ago at that price. And already they're starting to jump up to more like 50, 60, 70, 80. But I would say be very cautious if you are trying to buy the real legit one and the prices are anywhere under $200, $300, something like that, because uh, it's probably not the real deal. But they're even putting them out in multiple different colored variations, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you could make a whole collection of bootleg Sonic Boom records, basically. And, uh, you know, who knows? I might do that. If there's more up for $32 there in different colors, I might actually jump on it because it's kind of a cool thing. And, you know, it's nice to finally have a vinyl version of this in the collection. That's kind of the point here. I mean, I know it's not the real deal, but uh, I can put it on the shelf and that's what a vinyl collection's about, right? It's about having a shelf full of all this music that uh, you usually listen to more so on Spotify. So let's dive into this thing with an X-Acto knife. I don't really worry about the plastic on these records and saving it. I've had people comment on videos in the past saying that I should open them in a way to where it leaves the packaging on the record, but I, I don't really worry about that. I have some records like that where I've left it on there and just opened the side to get to the vinyl, but I don't really care about it too much. But if you use an X-Acto knife, you can usually uh, get the wrapping off of the record pretty easily. And you can cut that hype sticker off a little bit afterwards too. So you can save that for all of your collecting needs. So upon opening it, I can see that this record, unfortunately, the specific record itself kind of has a crease on it. I don't know if you can see it there around Eric's face. Uh, that has nothing to do with the quality of the bootleg because it really, it looks, it looks nice, it looks fresh, it looks clean. 
but uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not really that concerned because again, I paid $32 for this and these bootlegs, they're going for more money already. So this was a good deal, even looking at it as somewhat of a discounted record. So is there anything inside? There is not. I seem to remember that the original comes with like a poster or does it have a gatefold or something? I don't know, I'm not gonna research it. You know, you can blow me up in the comments there if you want, but uh, otherwise it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Even on the side, I'm really not, that will not show up at all, but the, the, the spine even has the, uh, the label there. But uh, we do have the record itself and uh, we're gonna take a look at that. So it's on green vinyl. I guess this would be the Eric version. And uh, look at that, it looks really nice. I'm not sure how vibrant the colors uh, will look on the other end, but in person, this looks really nice, actually. This is really, really nice. On side two, it has the track listing. And on side one, it just has the Sonic Boom logo. Well, there you go. There's not much else to look at uh, inside of the packaging. Presto, it's back in the white sleeve. I was quick with that, wasn't I? <laughs> uh, but like I said earlier in the video, I'm not gonna play it on uh, on camera here for you guys because uh, I'm just not gonna play the music because of you know copyrights and all those kind of things. Uh, plus, my record player is broke at the moment, so I really can't play it. So I won't be able to check it out for a little while. But uh, if you're looking for an affordable way to get this on vinyl. To me, this seems like a way to go right now. I don't know how long they'll last on there. Uh, maybe if word gets back to KISS, all these uh, you know listings will get pulled. That's actually part of the reason I purchased this before I put a video up or even a post talking about it or anything else because I want to make sure to get a copy of it because I don't see these lasting that long. And then weirdly in the KISS world, the bootlegs will become collectible as well because that's how KISS fans are. We want everything. But uh, with that being said, I don't see KISS releasing their own version of this for a while. So who knows, they might leave it up. This was the record that was released through that weird exclusive Walmart deal where you could only buy the CD version of it at Walmart because they basically own the record. This vinyl one was released exclusively through KISS Online at the time and since they can't re-release it. That's why it's not in the KISS Roadcase vinyl set. That's why it's not on Spotify, it's not on iTunes, and on Deezer. <laughs> uh, because of all those things, maybe KISS won't care too much, but uh, who knows how long that deal lasts. Maybe at some point they'll get the rights back and they will re-release it, but for the time being, it's kind of the black sheep in the KISS family of records because, you know, regardless of the music contained within, Monster is still available in all those places and uh, Sonic Boom is just kind of the outlier right now. So hopefully those rights will come back to them one day, but I don't know that it's really something they're that concerned with even on that because it's again, not the most highly regarded Kiss record in the catalog. I like it quite a bit, but uh, your average Kiss fan, some of them don't even know it exists and the other half, uh, half of those people don't even care about it. But there's still that percentage of people like myself that do enjoy the record. So if you want to get a copy, jump on eBay and get it right now while you can. And that's really all there is to say about this lovely record. So uh, what do you guys think? Are you going to go pick up a, a bootleg copy of Sonic Boom in 2020? Maybe you already picked one up. Maybe you have the original one. I would love to know all of those things and more from you in the comments below. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button so you can get some more Kiss content, some more rock and roll content, some more vinyl content because it's always coming out on this channel hit the little ding ding bell so you actually get the updates and give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that I'm alive and that you're alive again my name is Kimchi Chris and I will see you guys on the next video